Moving averages are a common way for a technical trader to begin the process of price analysis. It is often one of the first indicators that traders will add to their charts. A moving average is the average price of a futures contract or stock over a set period of time. For example, a 14-day moving average of the CLWTI futures contract would be the average closing price of the CL contract over the last 14 days. There are many ways to mathematically calculate the average of a set of numbers. Each method will come up with a slightly different result and place emphasis on a certain section of the data being calculated. Two common moving average calculations are simple moving averages and exponential moving averages. These moving averages will appear on a chart as a line. Traders might have multiple moving averages on their charts at one time. A simple moving average is the most basic of moving averages. It is calculated by summing up the closing prices of the last X days and dividing by the number of days. Exponential moving averages are moving averages that assign more influence on recent numbers and less on old data because of a weighting variable in the calculation. This makes them more responsive to changes in price and also acts in smoothing out the line. Exponential moving averages calculate variables from SMA, a weighting multiplier, and the time of cycle. Here is a specific calculation, but, as with simple moving averages, no calculation is needed on your part. The moving average indicator will calculate this for you and show the result as a line on your chart. While there are other more complicated moving average calculations beyond EMA and SMA, these two are the most common. Other moving averages are basically an EMA that assigns different weighting and smoothing variables to the calculations. Moving averages are often used to compare where the current price of the underlying instrument is in relation to support and resistance as shown by the moving average lines on a chart. When price moves down to a moving average line or up to a moving average line, traders can use this as a signal that price might stop or retrace at that point. For example, if price moved down to the 200 EMA, a trader might think that price might stop moving down from there as the 200 EMA will act as support for price to move back up. Traders can also visualize short-term and long-term support and resistance on a chart by adding moving average lines of different time periods. For example, a trader could use the 13 EMA as a short-term indicator and the 200 EMA as a longer-term indicator on the same chart. Of particular interest for traders can be when moving averages cross over. Crossovers, which occur when one moving average line crosses another moving average line, is used to signal bullish and bearish signals. Short-term moving averages crossing above longer-term moving averages is generally seen as bullish, and long-term moving averages crossing below short-term moving averages is generally seen as bearish. For example, if a trader sees that the 50 EMA is crossing above the 200 EMA, this is generally a sign that prices might continue to move up in the future. Moving averages are simple yet powerful tools that traders can use to help visualize where price has been and where price might be moving next.